Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 6 of this video series. So if you are new to MVC, then definitely I would like to suggest you to watch my previous videos. Now in this tutorial, I am just going to integrate my SQL database in MVC using entity framework. So now basically my my data going to travel from SQL database to entity classes which I'm going to generate it from entity framework then uh, I will just move this data to my custom classes and finally I will show it to view so I have few points uh, I have an employee table present in database so you can see I have created an employee table which has four which have four column you can see and now I will generate model from database using entity framework so here I am just talking about this entity classes and now I will keep a copy of entity classes and I will say it view model uh, which can be customized as per my requirement okay so why I'm creating this view model because entity class are volatile and refreshed if there is any change in database table column okay in future if I add one more column then definitely I will have to refresh it and this will keep impact on my view so that's why I am not going to directly use this model classes okay so now let's go to visual studio okay so generating model from database is very is pretty simple okay so right click on your model folder and add new item okay so now click on data and click on adio.net data entity entity data model and write your name okay so I am creating MVC tutorial model okay now click on add okay so here you have two options now select generate from database so I am now going to generate it from database so I don't have any connection so I will just uh, click on new connection so here I I have server so different server I have so just click on uh, this drop down you will get several server database server so now I'm going to use this server because I have generated the database in at this server okay so uh, here I will find my all data all database so I will select my MVC and I will just tell my connection okay now I will click on ok and now uh, make sure you have just checked this checkbox because uh, it will show the connection string in your web.config file okay so now you can select your table here either you can select your table if you have created your store store procedure or function then you can select it you, if you have created your view then definitely you can select it so in my table there are two tables okay so now I have selected that and now I will finish this okay so it will take few minutes now here you can see uh, the visual studio the entity framework has created the schema for you uh, the ER diagram for you okay so now also you can just uh, see your table here MVC tutorial model or TX if you see your department your employee okay now before that uh, just go to your diagram and control s means 
make sure you are going to save it okay okay just close everything now uh, I will just create my custom class here so go to click and add and I will just add my view model okay so I am just naming it employee view model okay and now click on add okay so here this is my view model and this one is uh, model generated from database okay now you can see your uh, several properties means uh, if you match it to your database column then definitely it will be equal like uh, employee ID name department and this is nothing but a class okay so I have just copied those property and paste it here and make sure you don't copy this uh, public virtual department this uh, this this is here because of I have just given a reference here so this is a foreign key to the prime uh, department table so here you can see the department table also just right click on it select so this is my primary table so that's why you will find a virtual okay so you don't need to copy it okay now close everything now my main target now uh, I'm going to show uh, it to the view so first go to the wave.config file and check whether you will find a string or not so here is your connection string you can just check your uh, catalog okay so mvc tutorial integrated security okay so this is basically your uh, connection string generated by entity framework and just copy it mvc tutorial entities and now i am just going to uh, create uh, context okay so mvc mp3 i am just naming it db dot okay and now i will create the employee employee object so employee this is from uh, entity framework so employee imp employee equal to new employee so or or you can just directly get data from this db so that db dot employees dot single i am just fetching only one data and i am just applying the lambda expression okay so x implies x dot where employee id equal to equal to one okay so i am just taking only one record so now i can pass it here also but it is not recommended because if if there is an, a change in an employee then definitely it will impact on my view okay so i will just create the object of my view model okay vm equals uh, new vm and now i can understand i have to i have to paste everything means uh, i have to put employee id from employee dot employee id so vm dot now i will say department id i need department id so employee dot department id okay now vm dot so my view model dot now i will have name equals employee dot employee name 
ओके सो एक्चुअली दिस इज़ वेरी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस सो इन रेजोल्यूशन फॉर दिस इक्वल्स एम्प्लॉयड एट नेम सो देर इज नेम एंड वट इज वट इज लेफ एड्रेस ओके एड्रेस इक्वल टू एम्प्लॉय डॉट एड्रेस ओके सो आई हैव माई एम्प्लॉय वी एम एंड नाउ जस्ट एम्प्लॉय जस्ट कीप ए गुड नेमिंग कन्वेंशन बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लिक ऑन इट रिमेम ऑल ऑफ दैम ओके एंड नाउ कॉपी इट एंड पेस्ट इट so here uh, you you will feel some trouble in copying all the properties suppose in future the employee table has a lot of lot of uh, uh, you can say properties then it is very hard to copy all the things so there is um, an auto mapper available if you if you find the uh, auto mapper reference then definitely it it will be very helpful you can have you can have the list of employee and it can be directly uh, copied to uh, employee view model if it matches the same property okay so i will discuss it in later video session about the auto mapper okay right now i am displaying the list of this okay so go to your view and just right so mvc your project name dot models dot so here you can see the entity model and also i have my uh, i am just using the custom model and now i am going to use if model is not equal to null because it is necessary to check whether the model model is null or not okay so i am just if you just see if model dot you can just put you can just display their name okay so i have already generated a template for it okay so i am just showing the employee information employee id model dot employee model dot name model dot address model dot department id okay now let's run this and let's see what's going to happen so here you go so i have just displayed the employee id name and its address and you can check it from database so go to employee tab employee table and employee name is ashish department table india okay and you can check okay so uh i hope you can understand why i have created the extra model okay so my objective is fulfilled i have just uh, uh connected my db to uh to my visual studio and uh, uh made the connection string okay so in the next tutorial uh i will just work on multiple tables means i will just show the department means department id and to the department you can see if so i will show the all information of employee and its department so so for working in a multiple table so in the next tutorial we will, uh, we are going to discuss all these things so thank you very much for watching my tutorial if you like it then definitely give us a thumbs up uh, comment and share it okay and subscribe my channel have a great day bye bye